To access the machine's technical menu, we have to follow the following procedure. In position 2 of the general switch, we turn off the machine by pressing the on-off button so that the display reads off. Next, we keep the menu button pressed for around 15 seconds until the display shows the initial menu, which is the language menu. To change the settings in the menu, we use the up and down arrows until we find the required language. And, to confirm our choice, we press OK. We press the OK button until we reach the option of name change. We must be aware of where we want to put the name, right, middle or left. Pressing the OK button, we input the name, letter by letter, using the arrows to change each character. If we want to leave a blank space, we have to scroll to letter A and go down one character to find a blank space. For example, if we wish to write Ibaritel, in the first place we will search for the letter and press the OK button to move on to the next letter. To go faster when searching for a letter, we can keep the arrow pressed down to speed up the search. If we want, we can use other characters that are not letters, such as numbers or symbols. Once we have input the name, we press the menu button and we see the option Line Rotation, which asks us if we want the name to be fixed or to rotate through the display. By disabling the option, the name remains fixed, whereas if we enable the option, the name will rotate. We press the OK button and we see the following function in the menu, the stopwatch function. This function tells us the water quantity time for each group head. In this case, we disable it. By doing so, when we make a coffee, the display will simply show information about the type of coffee we're making. Pressing the OK button accesses the following function, the measure setting function. If we enable this function, the coffee measure settings can be adjusted with the settings procedure. If we disable this option, the measure settings cannot be changed. Pressing the OK button moves us on to the next function, the continuous measure button. If we enable this option, the continuous measure button will work when pressed. If we leave it disabled, the continuous measure button will not work. We press the OK button and move on to another option. Mixed tea. This option functions only if the machine has the option to mix cold and hot water. If we select the option Yes, we will be able to mix cold and hot water when the machine dispenses hot water. If we select No, hot water will flow only when we press the hot water button. In this case, we choose Yes. We move on to the next option, the pre-infusion option. If we enable this function, the display shows us the soaking time and the downtime and waiting time of the machine's pre-infusion when making coffee. These parameters can be changed and adjusted as per convenience for coffee services. Each type of coffee can have different independent settings. If we disable this function, the pre-infusion will not work. The next option in the menu is the sensitivity option. This function allows us to vary the sensitivity of the level probe of the boiler in three positions, low, medium or high. Our recommendation is to select medium sensitivity and only if working with highly purified water to use high sensitivity. The following function of the menu is the maintenance schedule. It tells us the number of services for which the machine will flash up a visual warning on the display to perform some kind of maintenance. To disable this function, it's sufficient to set it to zero. The next function is the heating option. There are three options, PID, pressure switch, and on off. If the machine we're working with is a machine that works with a temperature probe, we select the options of on off or PID, programming the options that the machine prompts us for. Conversely, if the machine works with a pressure switch, we select the option Pressure Switch and we move on to the next function in the menu. If we select the option On Off, we press the OK button and choose the temperature units, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Afterwards, we select the gap within which we want the temperature to stay. 
The other option that we can select if our machine works with a temperature probe is the PID option. To select this option, we confirm with the OK button, select the temperature units as previously explained, and select the temperature we wish the boiler to remain at. The following two menu options that appear next are parameters that we do not recommend changing for the machine to run optimally. Pressing the OK button, we reach the final option, water filter. This option allows us to select how many litres of water the machine will consume before showing a visual warning on the display. If we want to disable this option, we should select zero.